Hello again YouTube, it's still 73 again. Well, I'm going to be making a pay to play money making guide, but there are some free to play methods in it as well. I'm going to try and cram as much in, the, as, much in as I can to give you a lot of information and save time. The first one of our methods is filling up vials, so go to the Grand Exchange and buy a vial. One empty vial for, just put it up to three so it'll buy. And it'll buy for 2GP. 2GP. Okay, and then we go to the middle of the Grand Exchange to fill it up at the fountain. Okay. And sell that for. No, just crank it down a bit to 19. And it sells for 24. To give you a 22 GP profit per one. That based over 100 is 2.2k profit in a matter of three minutes. Two minutes. Anyway, next thing is flax. Buy flax on the Grand Exchange. Just buy one of them. Crank the price a bit. I'll only show you. I give you an example of one. No. Uh, now we've got to go to Lumbridge. The second floor of Lumbridge Castle. Uh, there's a spinning wheel. I want to go to Lumbridge. No! Ah, oh, teleport there. Oh. Okay, and teleport to Lumbridge. I hope you find these guides very helpful. And like, subscribe, and comment as well. You can start off making money using this guide with 2GP and building up, ending up getting loads of money. Because I don't know if it still is, but flax spinning into bowstrings used to double your money. So, say you spent 300k on them, you'd get 600k from selling the bowstrings. Bowstrings were also used in fletching to make bows. So use the Lummy Castle spinning wheel to the bowstring and then I'm just going to run upstairs to the bank to teleport back. Or you can use the home teleport to go to the lodge stone and get back to the Grand Exchange. But I presume you all know where that is since we started there. Where is it? Where is it? And a Varric teleport tab. And break. Now because I've got Varric armor, because I've done some of the Varric tasks, it'll teleport me straight outside the entrance. So you go on to the Grand Exchange again. Exchange. That. That. And crank it down a bit. No! Don't sell for that. Have these rocketed down in price? You might make little more profit off these now. Come on, yes, 25, gives you a profit of roughly 40 GP per one, more than the vials, but a bit more hard work, so the vials are still looking good money. Now the third one, making fires, you go on the, uh, not the history, of the history, you go on the Grand Exchange, you buy a log. Uh, just a normal log. Ooh, that's quite a bit. They've gone up in price. Anyway, you buy a log. 442. Pause it, write it down. Remember that number, guys. Okay, anyway. Then you right click, light a fire. Okay, that don't really matter too much. Then you go on your bank. And then. I've already got some ashes out because when the fire goes out, you'll get ashes from it. I'll just drop on the floor. Then you want the grand exchange again. Sell the ashes for 518 GP. But we'll crank that down a bit. These are a very good way of making money, and free to play players can do it as well. That's another good thing. 505. That gives a profit of about 400 and. 
No, 360 GP, something like that. Sorry about my maths, I'm trying to do it in my head and it's like nearly midnight and I'm boiling. Because my girlfriend seems to want the heating on full blast. Okay, now, that's three methods I'll show you. Now, shall we do one more? What's the last one we should do? Um, shall we do keroid? Yeah, keroid. You already know where that is, though, uh, do you? So, I'm going to teleport to Lumbridge. Do, do, do. Okay, and then you run across the bridge. If you have zero GP to start with, this is the method you should do first to get a bit of money. Then, when you have at least two GP, um, just go to the Grand Exchange and buy vials, fill them up, and sell them, like I showed you earlier. <coughs> All of us here at the RuneScape Productions team will help you a lot. If you have any questions, now right click, cowhide. Every time you kill a cow, they're guaranteed to drop, to drop cowhide, but some players don't pick it up, so you want to grab all of it. No, not the bones. Oh, he got that one. Oh, no, we die, ugly. Ha ha. Anyway, and then we go back to Barrack. I'll have to run to the Grand Exchange this time. Too far away from a bank. Okay, and then we run this way. Come on, come on, run! Do, 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 do. Uh, you can have a look at my skills while we're running. Do, 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 do. Each of them carriers, by the way, is a level 2. Should be dead easy to kill if you're above level 10. You don't even have to be that, you can kill them before that, but level 10 you shouldn't need any food. Um, I got 99 wood cut and it took ages. I don't know EVs. So that's probably the boring. Now, that's obviously that's the best way to do it. You can go on the Xbox while doing it. You can be AFK a bit. Like just keep looking back every two minutes or something to make sure you're still chopping. But that's the best way to get 99 wood cutting. Anyway, you get back on the Red Exchange after killing the cows, picking up all the cowoid. Uh, sell. Cowhide, all, drop the price a bit, drop the price a lot. Now I'm just going to drop it down, but don't worry how much you put it down, just make sure it sells and then you'll get the uh, price that it's worth. 930, so that's 930 from a bit of combat, gain some experience at the same time. And I think that basically wraps it up for our video. So I will levitate. Members in motion for the, from the loyalty point shop. And that wraps up the video. Okay guys, see ya.